Hello, everybody. Um, this is just a short video sh with examples, um, further examples of the differences between British and American English. So, like in this, like we saw in the slideshow, um. British words ending in O-U-R usually end in O-R in American English. So we have color, color. Well, they're pronounced the same way. It's just the difference of, well, one letter is present in one and is absent in the other. So, um, move on to the next one. Verbs in British English that can be spelled with either I Z E or I S E at the end are always spelled with I Z E at the end in American English. So um, we could either say apologize or apologize, organize or organize, recognize or recognize. In British English and in American English, we'd say apologize only, organize, recognize. Um, in British English, verbs that end in YSE are spelled with YZE in American English. So there's analyze, analyze, recognize, recognize, paralyze, paralyze. Now, in British spelling, L is doubled in verbs ending in a vowel plus L. Now, um, in American English, the L is not doubled. So, we have travel, travel. Now, that's just the verb, right? Now, when there's the ending, which is ED in this case, we have the L doubled in British English, so it becomes T R A V E double L E D traveled and what well, well in American English it's just one L. British English double L for traveling, one L for US English traveling. Then traveler, British English double L and American English one L. Then British English words that are spelled with the double vowels. A, E, or O, E tend to be just spelled with an E in American English. So, now, there are exceptions to this rule. For example, archaeology is spelled the same way as British people spelled it, but archaeology, well, with that spelling without the A, would be acceptable in America, but is incorrect in the UK. So, um, we have examples like leukemia. Um, well, British English, of course, has the AE and the American spelling E. Maneuver, um, O in the British spelling and without the O in the American spelling. Estrogen, estrogen pediatric, pediatric, and so on and so forth. Then we have nouns that end in E-N-C-E -E in British English and are spelled with E-N-S-E -E in American English. So defense, defense, license, license, offense, offense, pretense, pretense. You also have practice. Um, sometimes these words in English, the, like, for instance, practice with the, uh, okay, practice with, let's write the here, practice or practice. Um, one is a verb and the other is a noun. So, practice in British English is the verb. And then practice with the C is referred to as the, oops, as the noun. So, um, just going to go back here. Um, but that's not the case for 
all those words. I just gave that example, okay? So, some nouns that end in O-G-U-E in British English end with either O-G or O-G-U-E in American English. So, now in that situation, you could either decide, well, it depends on the person, whether they want the O-G-U-E at the end or just the O-G. So, analog, catalog, or dialogue. Um, so, basically... These are this these are just you know some of the differences and um, of course you I can't put everything together in one so I hope this was helpful thank you for listening and see you next time